What's going on, YouTube? Alright, so I'm making another video in response to the whole coronavirus COVID-19 thing. I'm going to be making a homemade hand sanitizer today. Uh, part of the reason I'm making this is kind of two reasons. One, I feel like some of the stuff you're seeing online about how to make it is a little bit off, and I kind of want to correct that. The other thing is, um, the reason I'm making it is because everything around here is sold out. Uh, isopropyl uh, alcohol is sold out and uh, a lot of <laughs> aloe vera um, uh, aloe vera gel is sold out too uh, and obviously hand sanitizer is sold out so that's why everyone's resorting to <clears throat> resorting to making their own so um, I'm making this a little bit different I titled it uh, you know hand sanitizer for men but this is really for anybody it's just a it's a little bit different than what you've seen online um, part of the reason I'm doing it is because I'm a local driver going in and out of shipping receiving offices every day having to give people shipping papers and then get it back and then spraying disinfectant spray all over it and throwing it all over my truck and everything else so sanitize everything so I'm completely out of hand sanitizer so I've resorted to making my own and I'm going to show you how I'm doing it <laughs> Alright guys, so I am going to go over uh, the ingredients I'm using to make this and then once I go over them I'm going to briefly explain why I'm using uh, those ingredients. So first obviously uh, aloe vera gel. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, cedarwood, Texas cedarwood oil as a um, essential oil. Uh, we're going to use some vitamin E as well today. Uh, you're going to make a crude, crudely made hand sanitizer label so that you know what your hand sanitizer bottle is. Uh, you've heard the expression, use the right tools for the job, so we're going to not do that here. We're going to resort to using a funnel for a transmission, uh, which is brand new by the way, not used. We're not using, there's not going to be any transmission oil in this at all, so do not worry. And then the thing very different than what a lot of people are doing is we're going to use grain alcohol or ethyl alcohol or ethanol. So this is 95% uh, alcohol or 190 proof. Now, that's the main thing I want to talk about. The thing, the thing I said earlier when I said that this is different than what a lot of people are doing or what people are giving that's kind of misinformation is they're saying you can use uh, alcohol if it's isopropyl alcohol or grain alcohol that you can use 60% uh, alcohol. Now that is not true. It's not recommended by the CDC. It is not uh, exactly accurate. What the CDC says to use is 60% alcohol in total. So the total amount of alcohol needs to be 60%. Now we're going to use two-thirds of a cup of grain alcohol and one-third of a cup of aloe vera oil and then uh, the other ingredients we're not going to use enough to really affect the total amount but two-thirds of 95 percent is around 63 percent so the people that are using 70 percent alcohol as a as two-thirds the total is less than 60 percent so that's the main thing that I wanted to clear up that people are doing wrong Okay, so now I'm going to go over everything and explain why I'm using it. So I'm using grain alcohol primarily due to the fact that there's no rubbing alcohol around. And if you use rubbing alcohol, it's ideal to use the 99% the one, which is uh, kind of rare. Even normal under normal circumstances, it's kind of rare. So now it's like extremely rare. Uh, so grain alcohol is still pretty, pretty available. And you can get that. You can get Everclear. I know most people know what Everclear is. This is like the off-brand version of Everclear. So... I think it's $14.99. It's not uh, necessarily cheap, cheap, but it's definitely not expensive. So that's the alcohol source. Um, the Texas cedarwood oil, I'm primarily using uh, just for the scent. That's the whole, this is a man's hand sanitizer. You know, that's, that's the main thing. Now, it does have some medicinal uh, reasons for using it. I mean, it, it is supposedly or it will supposedly like protect against harmful bacteria but it has a lot of other uses that aren't necessarily great for being a hand sanitizer like it uh, helps with inflammation or it soothes irritation I think it soothes like redness and itchiness uh, it relieves 
the the bacteria that causes acne um, things like that it protects against uh, uh, it's like a mosquito repellent type stuff so it's not necessarily the best essential oil to use for hand sanitizer but I I dig the scent so that's why I use it okay and then with the vibin E oil uh, so the one of the downsides to using grain alcohol is grain alcohol actually does uh, like dehydrate you or dehydrate the skin more than uh, rubbing alcohol does so the vitamin E is basically used as like an added moisturizer the other things we're going to use is we're just going to use a Pyrex to measure out our alcohol and aloe vera we're going to use this mixing bowl here to mix it all together and then I got this little electric whisk to do everything I need to mix it up all right so first we're going to get two-thirds of a cup of alcohol all right we're gonna do one third cup of aloe vera oil or aloe vera gel should I say see how long this takes all right this is gonna take all day Okay, so I've just resorted to just squeezing this out. And now we got about one third of a cup of that. Next thing we're going to do is add a quarter of a teaspoon of that vitamin E. Alright, and last we're going to add 12 drops of the Texas cedar oil. All right, then I'm going to just whisk this around. All right, I'm going to try to fit, make this in here without spilling it everywhere. Alright guys, so this here is the final product. Uh, as you can tell, probably lost some of it in the whisking process because this is 8 ounces and you can add one third of a cup and two thirds of a cup. So uh, that's about what we got. So it does feel close to probably about 7 ounces, I guess. Um, and yeah, ethanol, uh, grain alcohol, just as effective as isopropyl uh, alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Um, but yeah, just a little bit different. That's the uh, man thing. That Texas cedar oil uh, smells great. I've already uh, used this once, and that, I love that smell. I used to use that when I made uh, beard oils too, or beard balms and stuff. That's like my favorite scent, my go-to scent. So, all right, guys. So that is another way to make hand sanitizer. You gotta remember to rock your bearded bandito sticker on there. Remember, it's made in Texas. All right, guys. So make sure to be sanitized and disinfect everything during this and keep up your social distancing, man. Six feet, six feet at all times. All right, guys, till next time.